Now, Delhi police sources have told CNN News 18 that after killing Nikki Yadav in his car near Kashmiri Gate, the accused Sahil Gilot kept her body on the front seat itself. These are grisly details that are coming in. He kept on driving for approximately 40 kilometers to his dhaba in Metro Village. And after reaching his dhaba, he concealed the body in a deep freezer at his restaurant. Now, police has taken custody of the vehicle used by Sahil Gilot. The car was seized from his house and after concealing the body, the accused drove back to his house. After the incident, Sahil went home and then was uh, took part in a function. We're crossing with CNN News 18's Anshul Singh to get us more details. Uh, Anshul, this is shocking information that's coming in from Delhi police sources. Tell us more about what we're learning about it. Well, definitely shocking details coming out from the Delhi police sources at this point in time. So yes, this incident happened on the intervening night of 9th and uh, 10th February. On, remember, on the 9th of February was the engagement of Sahil Ghalot and on the 10th of February was the uh, marriage of uh, uh, Sahil Ghalot. So yes, uh, on the 9th of February, he... He, uh, on the inter intervening 9th of 9th and 10th February, he strangles his live-in girlfriend who, who, who they were living in for almost 4 to 5 years. Now they initially met in the year 2018 and since then they have been living li living together. So yes, they have been li living for the last uh, together for the last 3 to 4 years and this incident happened on the inter intervening night of uh, 9th and 10th February at Kashmiri Gate where the, uh, the Sahil strangled uh, Nikki Yadav to death. Uh, with a phone charger that was present in his in his vehicle itself, and after that, from Kashmiri Gate, he comes down to this place at which I am standing right now. I am standing at Mitron Village, at the very dhaba in which it has been alleged uh, the, the body of uh, Nikki Yadav was found out here. So yes, Sahil drove all the way from Kashmiri Gate to uh, to this dhaba out here in Mitro Village in in Nazavgarh. That is approximately a distance of 40 kilometers. And in the meanwhile, he kept the he kept the body of Nikki Yadav in the front seat itself. And he went around driving fearlessly and in that duration of 40 kilometers, no one actually raised any suspicion that a dead body was lying in the front seat of that vehicle. And once reaching out here in his dhaba, he went went ahead and kept that body, in fact concealed that body in a, in a fridge at his dhaba. And from here, he returns to his uh, home. He parks his car... Uh, in his home and gets involved in the functions that were happening because remember on that very day it was his marriage so he he decides to get get married he he got married on that very day and after that uh, the delhi police uh, got some input that such an incident has happened and acting on that input the delhi police reached his uh, village in uh, reached his house in this mitron village and where he was not found at his residence at that point in time and his phone was also switched off after that the delhi police continued interrogation and it was found that sahil was in a nearby village it's Itself, uh, where the Delhi police went and arrested him. I, even after arresting him initially, uh, Sahil said uh, uh, he actually tried to mislead the police in this entire matter. And he, but uh, after rigorous inter interrogation, he actually agreed and he was the person who pointed out that the body has mm -hmm. been kept over here. So yes, shocking details coming uh, to the fore yet again. And yes, uh, uh, the D Delhi police is claiming that they have been able uh, to solve Anshub, this apart case. Apart from the main accused, would you also be able to tell yes, us who question. else is under the scanner? Uh, so yes, uh, in this entire in investigation that has happened till now, only one person uh, can be seen under the scanner at this point in time, that is Sahil. In fact, the family members of Sahil did not know that he was in a li live-in relationship with Nikki Yadav for the last uh, four to five years. And uh, uh, hence, uh, they uh, actually, the, the, modest, uh, the uh, people who are involved in this is only one person, that is Sahil Yadav, and he has been taken into custody. His in interrogation is going on at this point in time. The car that was used in this uh, incident has also been seized by the Delhi police and uh, forensic examination are happening on, on the car at this point in time. Anshul, do also, stay with us. We have some breaking news coming in. We're learning that Nikki Yadav, the victim, was supposed to travel to Goa for a holiday. Flight tickets were even booked. But when she got the information that Sahil is getting married, then she apparently decided to cancel her plans and confront Sahil about this. We're also learning that Sahil and Nikki went out on the 9th of February. They were circling around in the national capital, after which an argument broke out regarding the marriage of Sahil and he then killed Nikki by strangling her. Uh, we're, to get us more information about this latest development, we're crossing back over to CNN News 18's Anjul Singh, who, remember, is joining us live from Metro Village, where her body was reportedly found. Uh, Anshul, so again, we're getting information about how Nikki was supposed to have gone to Goa, but cancelled her tickets when she learned about 
the fact that Sahil is going to marry another individual. What is the scene with that other, the third individual in this story? Where is she? So yes, Nikki Yadav was supposed to travel to Goa in, uh, on the 10th of February itself and remember this was a very, very, uh, uh, this was a kept secret uh, from the side of Sahil Yadav that he did not let Nikki Yadav know that he, he was going to get married. In fact, he had had an engagement on the 9th of 9th February when after his engagement, Nikki Yadav got to know that Sahil is getting married on the 10th. So she decides to cancel her plan to travel to Goa and went to meet Sahil on the intervening night of 9th and 10th February. And once... Uh, and once they met, they were circling around in the national capital, around the Kashmiri Gate area. In fact, Sahil promised her that he is going to take her out of the city. And th that is the reason why Nik Nikki went to, uh, to meet him. And once they were uh, travelling around in the uh, uh, Kashmiri Gate area, uh, the, uh, an argument broke out between them, which led uh, to the killing of Nikki Yadav. So yes, gruesome details coming out at this point in time. The investigation is still in its very, very preliminary stage. We, we are... We are picking up more details from the Delhi Police as and when uh, the investigation is going on. Today, what we are being told that the Delhi Police is going to present him in front of the court and is going to ask for a 14-day police custody in which more details would come out. Also, the reports of the post-mortem of Nikki Yadav is also supposed to, uh, supposed to come out in the next few days. And also, we are expecting that the forensic examination that is happening on the vehicle of Sahil Yadav, those reports are also going to come out in, in the next few days. So, yes, the next few days are going to be very, very crucial in the investigation that is being carried out by the Delhi Police at this point in time. But, yes, these details that have come to the fore definitely again raise a lot of lot of uh, questions on the kind of relationships uh, that are happening in, uh, that are happening out nowadays this is not the first case that we have seen happening in the national capital there are similarities with the shraddha walka murder case as well and also uh, the, such cases have come up in different parts of the country as well so yes uh, the big the larger the larger question is as to please stay with us we're getting some more breaking news that's coming in right now now the breaking input that's coming in again, this is about the Delhi murder. Nikki Yadav's father has demanded capital punishment for the accused. Her father has said that death penalty is a must for the accused. Listen in. कल सुबह पता लगा मारो तो अभी साहिल को गिरफ्तार कर लिया गया है क्या उम्मीद करते हैं आप मैं चाहता हूं जो उसको सजा ही मौत मिलनी चाहिए पिछली बार घबर कब आई थी अभी एक एक महीना पहले घर पे आई थी वो तो क्या कहना चाहते हैं क्यों ऐसे हमारी बेटी के साथ पूरा न्याय हुआ है उसको मैं चाहता हूं कि उसको सरकार सजा ही मौत दे इस 9 फरवरी की उनकी मंगनी थी 10 फरवरी को शादी होनी थी 9 तारीख को उनकी महिला मित्र निकी यादव को पता चला तो उन्होंने कन्फ्रंट करने के लिए उनको बुलाया था और रात को जब ये मिले हैं तो उस टाइम पे इनमें आपस में बहस हुई और उसमें गुस्से में आकर साहिल ने अपनी महिला मित्र का अपने मोबाइल फोन के केबल से गला घोट कर उनका मर्डर कर दिया उसके बाद उनकी बॉडी को कंसील करने के लिए उनके खेतों में एक छोटा सा ढाबा बना हुआ था ढाबे में फ्रिज में उसकी बॉडी को उन्होंने कंसील करने के लिए फ्रिज में डाल के उसको और वहां पे लोक लगा दिया वहां पे we're crossing back over to CNN News 18's Anshul Singh, who is joining us to get us more details. Uh, Anshul, so now a statement from Sunil Yadav, Nikki's father, saying that he's demanding the capital punishment. Uh, legally, when it comes to a case like this, how possible is capital punishment? Uh, so yes, uh, the capital punishment is a possibility depending upon the investigation that is carried out by the Delhi Police. Because remember, for capital punishment, the only requirement is that the case uh, should be uh, should be of the nature of rarest of rare. So this this case actually pertains if, if the Delhi Police in its entire investigation and the charge sheet that it is going to file, if the Delhi Police can prove that this is the rarest of the rare case, then only we can expect the capital punishment uh, to uh, happen to the accused in this entire matter. But yes, uh, in cases like this uh, of 302, generally the uh, Generally, the kind of uh, judgments that have come to the fore uh, over the past many years is that uh, mostly pe people get live Im imprisonment and depending upon the strength of the charge sheet, the uh, 
quantum of punishment varies from somewhere around 7 years to 14 years itself. So yes, it remains to be seen as to how strongly can the Delhi police build its case and pre present it in front of the courts so that the capital punishment could be awarded. But yes, at th this point in time, it seems very, very unlikely that capital punishment would be given to him because that is the nature of the uh, constitution or the CRPC that, uh, that the Indian judiciary follows. So yes, it remains to be seen as to if capital punishment will be given and, and how quickly can the Delhi police actually uh, file out a tight charge sheet to make, make sure that a uh, capital punishment is awarded to him. But yes, that is a very, very long haul because remember the case will initially go to the district court after which the case will is likely to go to the high courts and then finally to the Supreme Court. So this is a very, very long procedure uh, for, the, for the accused to get capital punishment in this entire matter. But yes, uh, the entire focus is now on the charge sheet and the investigation that is going to be carried out by the Delhi police and how strongly can the Delhi police build that charge sheet uh, through which the court can give him the maximum sentence. Mm -hmm. that, that is required in such kind of incidences. All right, Ancho, thank you so much for joining us and for providing us with those details. We'll continue to track the developments in the story. Right now, there's some breaking news. It's coming in from